party people it's me Julia I wanted to come on and uh, just like hop on to YouTube and make a little video in response to the last video I made and then I thought while I was at it I would do a little chit chatty like monthly favorites kind of thing um, don't mind me there's laundry going on in the background plus those laundry bins are there to hide the mess that is my husband's side of the bed anyway I wanted to come on and um, just talk for a moment about the last video that I posted, uh, which was the life update, where I've been, where I'm going. And I wanted to thank everybody so much for the overwhelming response to that video. And the support was unbelievable. And as always, whenever I have a conversation or like start talking about a certain subject, it always overwhelms me how much response you get with people going through the exact same thing so overwhelmingly I, <laughs> there's a lot of moms out there not even moms just you know people in general who understand how it feels to be stressed out and tired and there's so many people sharing stories about like the things that they're going through in their lives too and then that also puts your own kind of problems into perspective you know like got it pretty good here so I shouldn't really complain too much about being tired but I wanted to say how much I appreciate everybody's support and saying how much you like watching my videos and you don't really care when I upload how often I anyway, upload. so I just wanted to get on and say that like thank you so much you guys are just you boost me up and you keep me going and I just love you I think I've got such a great group of subscribers and I love you guys all so much okay so um, after saying that I thought I would do a little um, kind of rambly because what else do I do rambly kind of favorites video I'm going to talk about the things that I've been using and loving in my this is supposed to be a weekly makeup bag but like holy crap look at it it's full to the brim I'm not going to go through everything in here because not all of them are our favorites and not all of them are something that I really feel I need to talk about so yeah, just things that I've really been liking. So first up, I have to say, um, I broke down and I bought a beauty blender, which is quite an achievement for me because I miss cheapo, cheapskate, frugal, bargain hunter. But it's not even like being a cheapskate or being frugal. It's just finding the price of, you know, upscale cosmetics ridiculous. like. $28 for a piece of sponge is crazy. I bought this for myself for my birthday and I really like it. I like it, you know, too much. So there you go. I love that. Next is something, uh, where the heck has this been my whole life? This is, well, it's my whole life. Well, it wasn't around your whole life, Julia. Uh, I don't know how new this is, but this is the Nivea In Shower Body Milk. So it's basically like a moisturizing cream you use in the shower. And I love it. So this is, it has almond oil and it's the dry to very dry skin. So what you do is you shower like normal and then when you're still in the shower, you put this on your hand and you rub it all over like you were moisturizing and then you rinse it off. And it's just a very like liquidy moisturizer. It works so well. It just leaves my skin feeling so smooth and soft and silky. And they've got different scents, but I like the original one because it's got that old fashioned Nivea smell. Mm, it just smells clean. I love it. I won't be without that now. I think it's great. So my like base combination that I've been totally loving are these two beauties. Um, it's I've got the Biotherm Aquasource BB Cream. And I picked this up at Shoppers Drug Mart. I have the shade Fair to Medium. It's the first BB cream that I've used that feels moisturizing on my skin. It's a little bit thicker of a formula. I just find like BB creams, they're mostly like tinted moisturizers and for the most part, I don't find them moisturizing enough uh, for my dry skin. But this is a little bit thicker, but it feels very light and just like balmy on the skin. It's very moisturizing without that like really super dewy luminous look or anything like that. Like there's no luminosity to it at all. It just feels really nice on the skin. Um, basically little to no coverage whatsoever. It's basically just putting kind of a bronzy tint on your skin. I say bronzy because even though I have fair to medium, fair to medium is a huge range, right? Like it's huge. So obviously geared more towards the medium 
uh, tone, fair girls, we have to work at it a little bit more and just kind of keep it more to the center of the face and then thin it out to the outside so that you don't have like that line around your face. But um, I really like that. It's a little bit more expensive, but oh, it's so good. I've really been enjoying it. And what I add to it to kind of loosen it up a little bit so that it's not so thick and add some uh, luminosity to it and some radiance is my Laura Mercier foundation primer radiance. So I've had this for like, I don't know, a year or so. Just gives such a nice glow. And what I do is I'll put on the back of my hand, I'll put the BB cream or foundation, whatever. And then I just take kind of a blob of this on top, mix it in, and it just makes my skin look so glowy. And again, if you've got dry dehydrated skin, you actually really like the glow. I know some people don't, but it just makes my I feel more youthful. So I've just been loving adding this to everything, and I've really been enjoying the Biotherm Aquasource BB Cream. Speaking of glowy, I've gone away from matte bronzers. And I know, like, oh, it's matte, 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 everybody wants matte, but... I've just been craving a glow. So I started using um, this and it's just from NYC and it's cheap as chips. It was like $4 and it's the Sun and Bronze bronzing powder. So my shade is in Hampton's Radiance, which is a little bit more, it doesn't really show on the screen. It's a little more, more like peachy. Then there's like a milk chocolate, then like a vanilla and then the milk chocolate and a peach again. So it's not too dark. And it's not like super glowy. Like when I put it on, it's almost like, it's not really like wearing a highlighter, but it's it's just got a like a really nice radiance to it. And there is very, very subtle shimmer. Like they're getting so good at putting finely milled shimmer into even like drugstore products these days, I find. I feel like there's not really too many products out there anymore that have like chunky glitter in it because who wants that? And there's just something like with my skin being so dry, I just feel when I do like, not that I contour very much, but when I'm using like matte bronzers, I don't know, it just kind of makes my face look flat. So I like having the glow without being ridiculous. I mean, it's not like I look like I did the highlighter challenge, but the, I just love this. So inexpensive and it works, so why not? I've been using this palette exclusively for about a month and a half and it's the L'Oreal La Palette Nude. And of course, nobody talks about it anymore because you know, the hype has died down and you can get it anywhere and pretty much everybody has it. But I just want to say it's a really great palette. Um, it's too expensive in Canada as far as I'm concerned. It starts at $23. Like it's $23 at Walmart and it goes all the way up. I've seen it over $30 at like Shoppers Drug Mart. I got mine when they were on sale for $19 and I figured $19 is good because I think these are 15 in the States. So not too bad but what I love about this is it's got a really nice mix of not shimmery but there are shades that have you know a little bit of sheen to them and then there's one two there's at least two mattes one, two, three mattes in here and it runs kind of the gamut from like these are more warmer neutral tones down here but then over on this end like these two shades here are more like a they've kind of got like a, a gray to them so I feel like you can do see so these ones are kind of gray taupey and then down here you've got like more of the warm kind of golden brown shades and I love this matte warm brown in my crease so I'm wearing this palette pretty much exclusively and I love the little um brush that comes with it so it's got like a little brush and then the other side is a sponge tip applicator and I actually use them and I use pretty much all of the shades which is unusual because I'm not really much for really warm kind of golden colors but there's just something about the formula of these that they they work for me quite well um, nicely pigmented they blend really well I think it's quite a nice palette it gives you that kind of Urban Decay Naked look without it's kind to me it feels almost like a combination of Urban Decay Naked one and two but it's half the price of that and really to be honest with you it's not like you're missing out on life if you don't have an Urban Decay palette so 
So there. Oh, can I talk about stuff that hasn't worked for me? Because I'd like to mention these two crappy liquid eyeliners. I've been really just loving kind of just putting like one tone in the crease and then running a liquid eyeliner on the outer corner to do not really a flick, but just kind of like add a little bit of mm, some whatever this means um, to the outer corner of my eye. And so I've been and I got watery eyes. I'm over 40. Blah, blah, blah. We know all the drill, right? Um, so I've been looking for a waterproof liquid eyeliner. So I'm at the point now where I think I'm going to go to Sephora because I've struck out two, three times at the drugstore. And I wanted liquid because I wanted something that's got the fine tip, like a really nice fine tip pen or, you know, felt tip or brush or whatever. Well, I actually don't like brushes. I like a nice felt tip. Um, because gel eyeliners, I find I can't get a fine line. And when you've got hooded eyes and wrinkly eyes, you want to do a nice fine little line. So the problem is the first one is the L'Oreal Infallible Super Slim Liquid Eyeliner. It's got like a 0.5 millimeter point felt tip, which is fabulous. I love that. Um, and then the next one is the Maybelline Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Black. Again, this one's got, instead of having like a like a marker tip, it's got like a little sponge tip that's very, very fine, but again, pointy as well. I actually like the kind of sponge tip on that. But they're both, like they're not waterproof, okay? They're not. For example, and I don't even find them to be that great. So this is the Maybelline one. So there it is. Just to show that I'm not doing this, but like, oh, well, you didn't even let it dry. Okay. Like, um, hello, where'd you go? So the minute my eye waters and, you know, like I leave for work in the morning, I'm all like, hmm, my eyeshadow looks really nice. I like my eyeliner. Blah, blah, blah. I get to work and for some reason the air quality in my office makes my eyes water. So the minute my eye waters, and this one's the worst one, it's like, and my line is gone and it's in my eye and now my eye is stinging and watering even worse. It's it's just the whole thing. So I'm really angry about these waterproof eyeliners that aren't waterproof. Anybody has any suggestions of like really good liquid eyeliners that are actually waterproof? I was thinking of maybe doing the Kat Von D tattoo one. And it has to be liquid with fine tip. That's what I want. Uh, these are the new L'Oreal nail polishes. Now, bear with me. Uh, there's no label at all on these that tell you what the like the formula name is like I don't know if it's L'Oreal Color Riche or what but it's the new um and I know nothing about them but I have a feeling that there's oils in them like I think there's argan oil and that's like a new trend because at the same time Sally Hansen Complete Manicure has come out with their oil therapy nail polish so there's like uh, argan oil in them and they're more expensive than these L'Oreal ones so. they come in these cute little bottles L'Oreal nail, nail polish has never been my favorite. I feel, feel like, I can't talk. I feel like it, they, it chips really easily. These are great. I have three shades so far. The one I'm wearing today is the only one that hasn't lasted for more than, usually I can get these to last five days, which is fantastic for me. Um, and especially in the summer, there's something about my body, body, body? There's something about my body chemistry in the summer where nail polish just peels off, just goes, disappears. So I have a really hard time wearing nail polish and when it's like really hot and humid, I don't actually wear nail polish. I've been able to wear these and I've had no problems with them. So this shade is a dark purple and it's called Violet de Nuit and Violet de Nuit, um, Night Violet. And I, like I love it, it's the only one that hasn't lasted because I didn't put a top coat on. But these other two, this is Blanc Deluxe uh, or Deluxe White. I don't know why they're all the names are kind of French. Maybe because it's L'Oreal Paris. I don't know. But the bottles are really cute. They look quilted. They look nice on your on your vanity. The formula the formula of this white nail polish is amazing because it goes on almost opaque in one coat for me, and it's not super streaky and patchy. This was opaque in two and it didn't look like super messy around my cuticles, which is always important with a white nail polish. Um, and the other shade that I love is this one in Decadent Gray or Gris Decadent. Um, 
it's really nice creamy and they're all cream formulas so typical me it's like July and I go for these like fall colors although I've really been loving wearing like white nail polish or like creamy light pink nail polish and so these two are more for like fall I'm gonna take this off and uh, probably put the white one back on yep so there you have it that's basically all my favorites see wasn't a lot but I still managed to make this video before editing 27 minutes long gosh so I guess my number one favorite is you guys because you're amazing I'll tell you what I don't like why am I getting pimples at 44 I don't know I've been breaking out like crazy I've got one here I well this is where I get like every time I get stressed I get a pimple right there and here on the corner of my mouth this is hormonal and I hate it because it looks like a cold sore it's not a cold sore it's a pimple that I get every month and it's because I don't know it's because my mouth is now going like this and so spit collects here. oh let's not talk about getting old it's horrible so I bought this detoxifying French clay mask from shoppers today I thought I would give it a whirl I'll let you know over on Instagram if it burns my face like the last clay mask I did uh, thank you so much for watching and hanging in there and I will see you in the next video bye guys